Hello. Hello there, Mrs. McLean. Yeah, good afternoon. It's uh, the gas fitting board again. Just wondering when we come round to do this meter. Keep putting it off. No, you're not coming in to put a meter in here. Right now. No, what? I've had this all out before, son. Aye, I, I, I right. know. I just don't. I fail to see what your problem is. I'll tell you what my problem is. I don't want a prepayment meter. Aye, well, we're thinking of coming in on Monday. With that. Hello. Oh, hello there. Hey, who are you? Is this Mr. McLean? Yeah, Mr. McLean. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. McLean. Just phoning up to see where we could be convenient to come round and fit the meter. You're not fitting any meter into my house, son. Well, we're going to come in next Monday. Yeah, I'll tell you something. You're not going to my house, son. Right. You come near my house and I'll get the police for you. Uh, about 12 midday. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Uh, but do you understand? We don't make a mess. Well, I'm not giving two times one to make a mess, I know. You come near my door and I'll get the police for you. We'd be just be straight in, get the meter in, and then we would give you a card and Mrs. McLean would get a card as well. Listen, you're threatening me. I'm not threatening me. I, I just want to know why it is that you keep phoning up to say that you want a meter. I've, I've never in my life phoned up and asked for a meter, son, so I don't know what you're going to Have you changed your mind? I've not changed my mind, I've never even asked for a meter. Did Mrs. McLean ask for a meter? No, Mrs. McLean didn't ask for a meter. Well, who, who wants the meter? Nobody wants a meter. I've never ever did ask for a meter. I'm on, I'm on a budget account with you, and I've been on a budget account for years with you, and I'm over £100 in credit with both my gas and electricity. So right. what the hell do I want a meter for? And so Mrs McLean has decided that she wants a meter, is that it? No, Mrs McLean, Mrs McLean, there's not even a Mrs McLean here. It's Mr McLean. Was that lady that I spoke to you just now? That, that's, that's my sister. It's your sister that wants the meter in? My sister says you want a meter either. What the f*** is this? Why you going to put me onto your manager, son? Right, hang on a minute. Hold on a minute. Stay there, I'll get him for you. Ah, he's going to put me on a manager. No, 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 I'm going to... What the f*** is all about? No. Hello there, good afternoon. Hello. Hello there. Uh, are you the manager? Yes, hello. What can I do for you, please? Uh, I keep getting phone calls off of you. Aye. Tell me that I want a meter. I'm going to get... They're going to come and put a meter into my house. Aye, we're coming round on Monday to put one in. Uh, but... You are not coming round here on Monday to put one meter in. So, Monday's not convenient, you're telling me? I'm telling you, no day is convenient. Right, well, would you... Why well, are you trying to f*** my mind games with me or something? Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Don't f*** come away with it. Are you playing mind games with me, son? It's just that you... I don't understand why you contacted the office. Nobody just contacted the office. Well, there's a guy called John Doherty. He has. He should be... John Doherty being touched on me. Who the f*** is John Doherty? Do you not know John? Is just a f***ing mind up. <laughs> you. <laughs> Who is this? It, it's Robin Galloway at the Real Breakfast Show. Ah, uh, right, <laughs> wind up. <laughs> Do you know John? John's a biggest f***er I've ever came for government. <laughs> He's my f***er son in law. <laughs> Have you got a message for him? I've got a message. Tell him I'm gonna f*** <laughs> <you. laughs> I'm, I'm telling you. You're funny. I, I'm really f***ing funny. He'll know me f***ing funny when I take his f***ing trousers off. And Ram's jumping right up his f***ing wine gum. <laughs> <laughs> so, you don't even want the meter on Monday, pal? I don't want the meter any f***ing time. <laughs> Tell her, John, don't, I'm telling you, he's going to f***ing call me after you. And that includes the sleeping accommodation, hundreds of tightly packed hammocks, true to the design of the original ships. And just as awkward to get into.